Hi everyone. In this short video, I want to demonstrate a fast TDD workflow using the test.vim plugin by Yanko Maronicha. Hope I pronounced that properly. The test.vim plugin gives you four simple commands that run tests in different ways. The test suite command runs all the tests in the whole project. The test file command runs all tests in the current file. The test nearest command runs the test that's closest to the cursor which is useful for when you have multiple failing tests in the same file and you just want to concentrate on a single one. And last but not least, test last repeats the previous test command. This is the most commonly used command and it's what makes the workflow so fast. I've hooked these four commands up to leader combos in my vimrc file so that I can run them more quickly. To demonstrate the workflow, I'm going to take a test file from exorcism.io and write the implementation to make the tests pass. I start by running test file, which gives me an error because the implementation file doesn't exist. I create the implementation file in a split to the right and run test last, which will repeat the test file command. And now we can see 11 failing tests. I just want to focus on a single test right now, so I go back to the test file put the cursor inside the first test and run test nearest. Now the output shows a single failing test. The test failed because the binary class doesn't exist, so I start by making an empty class definition, then run test last. Now the test is failing because the initialize method is missing. I'll write the initialize method without a body for now and run test last again. Now it's complaining that the two decimal method is missing, so I'll write that too. And now we get to an actual assertion failure instead of an exception. This is failing because the methods have no body yet, so I'll fill in the methods now. I run test last again, and I see that the test passes. Now that I have one test passing, I run test file and see that all the tests are passing except for two. One failure is due to the exorcism bookkeeping thing being missing, so I'll implement that. I run test last and now there's just one failing test. I write the implementation to make that test pass. Run test last again, and now all the tests are passing. With all the tests passing, I can do some refactoring. Every time I make a change, I run test last again to make sure that I haven't broken anything. When I'm happy with the refactoring and all the tests are still passing, I'm finished. That concludes one TDD red-green refactor cycle. As you can see, this workflow has a very tight feedback loop. I write a little bit of code, run test last, and then repeat. I can make test last run a single test, a whole test file, or all tests in the project, depending on what is most appropriate for the situation. In closing, if you're a Vim user, definitely check out the test.vim plugin. It works straight out of the box with no configuration, I was using Minitest in this demonstration, but it also handles RSpec, and it supports 13 different programming languages, which means that if you're switching between languages frequently, you can still use the same testing workflow. This was a Ruby Pigeon screencast by Tom Dalling. Check out rubypigeon.com for more Ruby goodness and subscribe to the mailing list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.